Watch what happens when cannabis is injected into cancer cells. This is mind-blowing. An article from mindbodysoulspirit.com, a Greg Prescott creation in association with n5d.com and narrated by Larry Locken. Since 1974, studies have shown that cannabis has anti-tumor effects. The results of the 1974 study, reported in an August 18, 1974, Washington Post newspaper feature, where that cannabis' component, THC, slowed the growth of lung cancers, breast cancers, and a virus-induced leukemia in laboratory mice, and prolonged their lives by as much as 36%. In 1975, an article in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute titled Anti-Neoplastic Activity of the Cannabinoids, they reported that Lewis lung adenocarcinoma growth was retarded by the oral administration of tetrahydrocannabinol, which is THC, and cannabinol, cannabinol, which is CBD. Mice treated for 20 consecutive days with THC and CBD had reduced primary tumor size. In 1988, a research team at Madrid's Complutense University, led by Dr. Manuel Guzman, discovered that THC can selectively induce programmed cell death in brain tumor cells without negatively impacting surrounding healthy cells. They reported in the March 2002 issue of Nature Medicine they had destroyed incurable brain cancer tumors in rats by injecting them with THC. And in 2007, even Harvard researchers found that compounds in cannabis cut the growth of lung cancer. There is also an organization called the Seth Group that showed com compounds in cannabis can stop the growth of human glioblastoma multiforna GBM brain cancer cells. The Seth Group says no chemotherapy can match this non-toxic anti-cancer action. Even last year in 2012, a pair of scientists at California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco found THC metastasis in many kinds of aggressive cancer. The link to this is available at bodymindsoulspirit.com. This has been your narrator, Rockin' Larry Locken. And for Greg Prescott and the rest of the staff at N5D, we hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much and namaste.